and you guys are currently left alone in base. What would you like to do? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, mate. So, uh, what do you think? <laughs> do we just kick back and? The problem Make with that, that is, I feel like they're gonna kill everybody at the ranger station if we uh, yeah, just leave yeah. them alone. And epilogue. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's whatever you guys want to do. Yeah. Huh. Well, yeah. uh, our alternative is we could, if we want to go back, it has been hours. We can check the local news, see what's happening there. Let's we check the local news first. Oh, uh, let me call Topeka really quick and let let her know Tomeka. the the Tomeka. Yeah, well, and. Uh, let her know what what the situation is, and that the boys are safe, both of them. <laughs> so, so <laughs> turn on the local news. So much blood is the headline. Uh, well, okay. I'll, I'll Wait, call Tobika while yeah. they watch the news. Um, can watching I, before, her torn before apart. all that happens, can I can I do a psychotherapy check on sure. what what they're actually going to do with this Brandon? Like like sure. his intent that they seem to hear on the on handler. handler. Yeah. Sure. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> 58 out of 60. Uh, the handler... I mean, you don't know... I mean, none of you guys know a lot about Delta Green. It's not a super great organization as far as you can tell. It's a little shady. But you don't think they just flat out kill a kid? Probably. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Yeah. Whether they determine Brandon is a kid or a monster is up to them. <laughs> it's up to them. You'll find out in post. But, um... Let's, yeah. uh, Let's okay. go to uh, let's go to the phone call first. Um, All right. You ring it up and no one answers. Shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Can you hack their cameras or something to see what's going on? Uh, they Can probably don't have any cameras. Can you hack, hack her pacemaker to see if it's still beating something? <laughs> it's still beating. Uh, I don't think I can really do any hacking. Oh no. Any, anyone, anyone answer? No, nobody answered. Wait, I'm uh, gonna call maybe the front she, desk. Did it? Yeah, you front know desk. what? I'm gonna she's call the front crap, desk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe she's maybe she's on the pooper. Sure. Um, you don't hear a response. Shit. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe she's on the loop too. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Everyone's. You know what would not be good and what wouldn't look natural is everyone murdered at a ranger station. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I'm going to try calling the parents really Actually, quick. Actually, if, you, if you think about it, it could be a... I hate to say this, this might not seem cooth, but it could be one of those unsolved mysteries. Yeah. Those creatures starved to death. Um, you know, yeah, pro problem is, we, t we tell those parents a story and they, they hear about it on the news. Uh, there was, a, they, you know, there was a lot of confusion. I told them that there was an active shooting situation <laughs> in the ranger tower, dead. and that there were three people dead. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you call the the phone of the parents, and you hear a voice. Hey, hello. Hi. Who's um. This? this is uh. This is uh. Kenny Morgan with the FBI. <laughs> I'm Jeremiah. Who oh, knows? Just they're the killers, the shooters. They're. Have they come for me. I just wanted to give you an. <laughs> they're not coming for you, Jeremiah. I, oh, I, Kenny's goodness. putting on a voice to make himself sound ten years older, but oh, it's not working. Good. Muriel, they aren't coming for us. I think we're safe in the motel. Yeah, you're, you're safe. You're safe. I just wanted to give you an update on the situation. So that was not your son. I, I'm sorry to say. Um, your your son is still missing from the 80s, and <laughs> the uh, uh, the shooter was just somebody claiming to be Brandon, uh, but it was not him. We, we, we've determined it, it was definitely not him. So Roll one more persuade check. Yeah. <laughs> you got a 100. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on now. Hold on. Uh, Muriel's telling me. Uh, is that that doesn't make any sense. I mean, uh, why why would they find my son? We should maybe head back to the station. No, should, do not head boss? to the station. There, put me on. Put me on. I, I, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll give you to our boss. I'll give you yeah. everything I said was true. Everything I said was true. Here's my boss. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get the last. Uh, hello, one. this is uh, uh, Special Agent Pentagast. I am. Are you the, are you the manager here? Muriel told me you always ask for the manager. They've got the highest badge. I am the manager's manager. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Do you have coupons? Uh, yes, I have a... No, I'm sorry, <laughs> sir, but everything that Kenny was telling you was correct. It was a it was a ruse. We call them a copper cat. 
Oh, a copycat. Well, my boy didn't, he didn't kill any, he was like eight, he didn't kill, six? He didn't kill, it's been so long. He didn't kill anyone, how would they copycat my boy? They were obsessed with making children disappear, if you know what I mean. Oh, roll persuasion check. 68 out of 70. Oh, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> well, oh, well, copycat, well, that's very concerning, well... You know, I'm I'm very I'm mighty confused. I'm gonna stay in this motel with me and Muriel. Uh, well, just I mean, keep us posted if if the killer. Uh, Mr. McGill, uh, I'm sorry yes. for the suffering that you and Muriel have gone through, but uh, the FBI's best recommendation would be for you to please return to your home. You will be contacted immediately. We think that we have the copycat uh, cornered, but if they had uh, what would you call it? Mm. Uh, accomplices, they might be in the area. The oh. safest thing for you to do would be to return home. Oh. It's, it's, it's mighty crazy. Can you, can you accomplish the hotel, the motel room? Muriel doesn't want to pay these high prices. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, please send a bill to it and I'll give them some kind of like fake address. Oh, thank you very One, much. One, two, three, sir. four, Corporate Boulevard. Oh, that's so kind of you. <laughs> Muriel, they're going to pay for the motel room. Well, we'll be back at home if you need us. Of course. Yep. We're terrible people. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Delta Green. <laughs> Welcome to Delta Green where everyone's terrible. Um, okay, so here's here's what I want to do. I think I want to talk to the handler about this, but I'm going to ro roll it past you guys first. Um, we should, uh, because I'm pretty sure that the moon children and those monsters are just going to be active problems in the area until they die off, right? So what we should do is we should probably have... Delta Green and or convince Delta Green to tell the FBI or something to quarantine that mountain uh, for a while, just saying that there's uh, an influx in, like, cougar mating season or something like it's that. There's Puma's just Puma mating fish. season. Um, and we need and the area needs to be quarant quarantined off because they're becoming a problem and it's too dangerous to go into the mountains so that we don't have more people going into the mountains and dying, uh, especially if... Um, it, it would even kind of look like pumas are attacking everything too, because of how well, they the kind way of the, those people are slashed up. Of course, yeah. So, uh, so <laughs> okay. maybe we can convince that to be the the, <laughs> the problem. Okay. Oh, what's our what's our solution for everything else? I don't know. I'm just, I got one part. You got to think of the other parts. <laughs> what do you recommend? What do you recommend? Plus, Go yeah, on. I no, I have no idea. They just need to die. I mean, they do. They're gonna keep killing until they're dead. So we either. Let the bodies collect, or we stop them. That's our two choices. Not against the second one, just, just letting you know there too. Hmm. Yeah, I'm at a loss. <laughs> I think we should do. We should do. Because uh, if we try to kill them all, we'll, we'll just die. They'll probably just kill us. It, is, it does seem mighty odd that Delta Green could not muster up more than three young men to go out and deal with this threat, but... Yeah. I mean, they, they, got, all, they got all the problems, yeah? So, this we we're, this is the easy one. They told us in the beginning, this is the one that's that's not all that important, that seems like it's on the easier end, so they're out doing bigger, badder things right now, so... Mm hmm Well. You know what we could do? Um, maybe we can have... Uh, Delta Green do the quarantine thing, but uh, we give them a little bit of a leverage. I have that recording that they that makes the Moon Children stop. I can give that to everyone there, so then maybe we can have like set up stations where they're just blasting that sound at all times um, to keep them inside the area. Yeah, yeah, except for the the actual guys that uh, they they come a call. I'm not as worried about the Moon Children as I am about the. Uh... Kenyani, you know what? What maybe the best solution is a combination of the two. Oh, maybe uh, sure. <laughs> we qu we quarantine and starve them out, so they don't become physical or, or or damageable until they've hit a point of of panic or, or or emotion, like Brandon said. So even if we attack them now, we probably can't hit them. But maybe they they're starving for a few days. Maybe they get into that constant state of 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 emotional trauma and rage and. Maybe that's our time to strike. Maybe we wait. wait so you're out, saying quarantine happens, the area, roll up. quarantine the area for maybe two days and then go back? Because by then it will probably oh. be about seven days that they haven't fed. I mean, yeah. I mean, it, uh, a human being. Of course. It, it, it takes like forty days for a human being to starve to death. 
So I'm not sure about about how long these things take. Yeah. I would I would say uh, I think that that is a uh, that is gearing towards what would be a maintainable plan. We implement some kind of quarantine procedure. See if Delta Green will give us any other warm bodies to maintain that quarantine, and we at least try to make sure that they may remain contained. Yeah, and how about how about Tech Giant over here? Why don't you get on some some cameras daily or something? We'll set up some sort of satellite alarm and, and kind of keep an eye on it and see how far they're going. You could probably do something like that, yeah? I'm 25. <laughs> I called you Tech Giant, a, yeah? I'm not a fucking superhero, Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, but what I could no, do, I want, to, I, want you, I want you to do something besides what hack I could the do. pieces that are already do when you're trying to hack them. <laughs> Shut for, up, Gordon! Right? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what I could do is um, I can also alert uh, the local police and the park ranger services in the area, give them um, give them that sound bite and let them know that 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 help. It's basically yeah. I can pass it off as um, it's it that scares the, the it rabbit. Scares Puma, it scares pumas away. Uh, like it's a it's a, a, a new puma uh, deterrent uh, sound that we've discovered or something like that, um, and to use it uh, and to just blare it until the problem starts to clear down with the puma mating season that we've. I mean, I mean, I mean yeah, I, I feel like it might be an alert for the Kinyani to when they when they hear that sort of thing. And maybe the moon children will stop. But what about? Blondie over there didn't try and... Didn't well, oh in God. theory, there's Wait a only I just four of them. I just had a terrible thought. Huh. What time... What season is this? Summer. Summer. It's July. So it's really hot and dry. Hot. Yes, correct. In California. Yep, correct. Oh. We could burn them out. <laughs> we could. We could do that. That would cover... That would cover up any evidence and would perhaps... That might well, be a good route. good this time of year. I mean... It has been the... raining... Okay, so here's what we could do. We starve them for a few days, because they need to be physical for us to hurt them anyway, or they'll just pass through the fire anyway. Yep. Wait for it to dry out, set it ablaze. So quarantine the area for a few days using the, the puma... It's a puma mating season, so stay it's away a, from the mountain. Um, do that for maybe a week or something like that, and then set the forest on fire. If, yeah. <laughs> it's all those cats that were in heat, man. They right. burned it up. They burned it. <laughs> or do we say that they have a... Uh... I, I think that's, that's the plan I'm going with. I think it's yeah. great. Start setting that up? Yeah, I guess we start setting that up. I'm going to start emailing the park services and, and local yeah, police. Well, well, let's pass the plan along to the... Let's let the handler know Yeah, see on. what he can do with Delta Green with it. He uh, walks out. Uh, he kind of comes down the hallway. All right, what's the, uh, what's the plan, boys? All right, so we do need... We, do we have to repeat it all? Or... Yeah, you know, it's just... Can we just... <laughs> we tell him the plan. All right, what do you uh, need from me? I, I think that the R and D H and R H P O will be done with the Brandon <laughs> one in a, in a in a day or so. You guys can maybe have a quick conversation before y'all head out. Okay. Sounds yeah. I sounds guess, delightful. I guess and then I guess for tonight uh, we're just done here. Like <laughs> I don't. I don't want to go back out and check or anything because several more hours will go by to to get there and stuff. So I think so. Maybe crash in your bunks for the night and we'll uh, we'll, we'll reconvene in the morning. Yeah, get that get this that is... quarantine up immediately though, if you guys can. Absolutely, we'll 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 call the local authorities. Could you don't even worry. could you have Smoke, them? Smokey the bears on it. We'll we'll get uh we'll get uh, uh grimace from McDonald's. I think. Any any natural uh, uh mascot will be there. You and don't need to mock me, a natural <laughs> mascot. <laughs> Uh, it's like you don't know about Grimace. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being he, real was he was created by Delta Green back in seventy-two. Yeah. Uh, infiltrated the fast food team. How can you make that many burgers so fast? He Must infiltrated the Vatican. <laughs> this guy's a national hero. Grimace is really. If you look back in the uh, the Old Testament, Grimace was there. He was there. He was all actually. Long. He's actually Cain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I want to know what you guys do for the night. You guys now have a night off. What do you guys do? Uh, I'm probably gonna go uh, back to my uh, my bunk in the in Delta okay. Green because we all have rooms there, right? You're correct. You all have separate rooms. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go back to my room in Delta Green. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of detox. I'm gonna turn on an ASMR video and I'm gonna put my headphones on and just try to kind of get my mind off of things, but I just honestly can't get my mind off of anything. Yeah. Um. So then I call up my friend June. Uh, we don't have to roleplay this or anything, just quick. Okay. Uh, I call up my friend June, and I 
I have a conversation with her where we're just chatting about shit, and like, uh... I, I want you to roll, I want you to roll a, uh, uh, natural, whatever your charisma is. Got it. Yeah. You talk for a while, you talk about, um... She's really excited for Mortal Kombat 11. She's, like, a huge fighting game fan. Yeah. And you talk about it a little bit, and, um, she talks a little bit about her girlfriend and how they've, you know... They're on and off sometimes, but, you know, they're, they're... She's thinking about making things more serious, and you just have a nice conversation. You're distracted, yeah. but uh, you can tell, like as a as an audience member, you can tell that like I have this deeper problem going on in my life, but I'm not relaying that to June. I'm just trying yeah. to have a normal conversation to get my mind off of things. Yeah. Okay. Um. And I want you to increase that bond by one. Hell yeah. Okay. Well, let's go to uh, can't, uh Gordon. What are you doing, Gordon? Uh, does Delta Green have a bar? Uh, I want you to look around for a roll a, roll a uh, search check. Come on, check, give I me think? search check. I got 80 search. I thought you said thirst check. Uh, <laughs> the oh, no, that's reverse. Sorry, 68. You got out it. Of, you got it? Cool. Out you of 80, to, yeah. You go to the cafeteria, and there's a uh, a very thin kind of wiry, wiry woman behind it. You, you want some uh, some slop? Some, uh, I could get you a an egg omelet? What are you looking for, boy? Yeah, I'm looking for a little, little stronger here, yeah? Uh, you got any booze? Ho, ho. The magic words. And she, uh, she opens a door behind the counter, and there's a stairway leading downward. <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll take it. All right, you She's head downward. Take me to her sex dungeon, I know. You see, <laughs> no, you see a, uh, you see several other agents. You know, one, guys you haven't seen before, or women you haven't seen before. And they're just at tables drinking, and there's a, uh, a very dark-skinned man, bald, very dark eyebrows behind the counter of a bar with just filled with liquor. I like how there's a speakeasy in Delta Green, even though it's 2019, we still have to have a speakeasy in our Call of Cthulhu campaigns. Yeah, always. <laughs> I got a Lamar and I'm like, yeah, you got any, uh, got any first mission uh, cocktails you make for living through your first mission? Anything first special? Mission, yeah, absolutely. I got, I got some for you. Don't even worry. He, uh, he pours a drink. Are you gonna watch what he's pouring? Uh, I'm not like in detail. Trust him. White you trust blood. Him? <laughs> yeah, gonna make it sure. it's, it's it's just Malort. It's just white it's blood. <laughs> he pours you a drink. It's um, it's clear. It's just a Is very it like a, clear like drink. A There's one ounce carry. beverage or a shot. Oh no, it's pretty big. It's a it's a big like long cylindrical cylindrical drink. Uh, just uh, is there a guy at the bar next to me? Uh, yeah, there, no, there's a, uh, a woman. A woman with very oh. short, close clap red hair. Uh, I'm gonna turn to her, I'm like, well, here's to life. One more day. Made it. Oh, I'm gonna choose All right. Takes a shot, too. Man. Uh, I want you to roll a constitution check. You, uh, it burns all the way down. It is, uh, what, what he poured was Everclear and Sprite with a cherry. And, yep. um, it's... Called the Thai Special. It, it burns <laughs> all the way down. But it's good. God, it's really good. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll talk. I'll, I'm a, you know, we don't have to roleplay, but I'm just gonna shout out the lady at the bar. You know, okay. ask her about her first mission, how many yeah. she's been on, she's a veteran agent, that kind of stuff. I'll try to sleep with her. Roll it, yeah, roll, it. roll. I want you to roll, roll a luck check. Right. <laughs> huh? roll a persuade check or a charisma check, either or. Let's go persuade check. <laughs> I had to just say it. All right, thirty-three. That's a crit. Oh, she's that pregnant. <laughs> Delta baby. <laughs> Delta <laughs> baby, yep. Um, Call him sharpshooter. Call him a little bit of white blood. Sharpshooter. She talks with you for a while, um, and she is a little more not not very seasoned, but more seasoned than you. She's been on about five missions, um, and her name is uh Her name is Shea. Shea. And um you sleep with her. And you have a very, very exciting night. It's fun. Uh, let's go to Ezekiel last. <laughs> <clears throat> well, Ezekiel's uh, interest has been piqued. He is going to uh, call his one of his bonds, Dr. Nora Waterford Kelly. She is an archaeologist. And uh, he's just going to ask her some if she's ever heard of any information about uh, ruins or whatnot in the Yosemite area. Uh, Zeke. Zeke, what's going on? How, how's it been? Uh, ruins? Yosemite? Ruins, mm, yes. Or, uh, you know... Here and there, but what Primitive you, uh... structures. 
And the devil's chair has got some rooms around it. Uh, there's, uh... Gosh, ru I mean, ruins, gosh. I haven't been there in many years. What, anything specific you want me to look into? Um, just, if there's, you know, any, uh what would be from ancient civilizations. I know that there have been many people living in this country before we arrived. Um, you know, oftentimes we find, uh, like, what would be considered cave paintings. Didn't know if there was a strong Native American presence there. She's gonna roll for her check. Hmm. You know, there's a strong Aztec presence around that area. Um... I don't know a lot. I mean, I know there was some Aztec rumors about cannibals. Um, that's, I mean, nothing, nothing solid. It's all very, very rumors. That's about it. <laughs> some weird ancient race that drank white blood and could never starve to death. <laughs> <laughs> right, and actually only got more powerful as they got more hungry. <laughs> um, um, uh, Dr. Nora, uh, Dr. Kelly, I appreciate whatever information you were able to provide. Uh, you know, as one uh, professional to another, sometimes I just like to bounce ideas off of. It's always fun, Zeke. Can you give me some uh, more evidence, more stories. I'll always appreciate it. Give, you get one uh, bond with her. Thank you, Dr. Kelly. I will have to let you know next time I am in the city. I look forward to our next drink. All right, and um, you guys are... Resting for the night. Anything else wake up the next morning. Um, and, Take a long rest. And um, you see there is a... On each of your... With your phones or beepers or whatever you guys have. There's... Meet me in the um, in the briefing room. My pager. Yeah. I take like a deep breath and I... Uh, and, well, I, I do all my morning routine and stuff so I'm clean and everything like that. But I, yeah, yeah. I look at my phone and I take a deep breath and I head out towards the, the meeting room. All right, you guys head down there, and you see the handler. Um, I want... This probably... Zeke, I, I want you to roll a dexterity check. Okay. I will... throw Brandon at you. <laughs> yeah! We don't want this uh, boy anymore! <laughs> straight <laughs> down the That is a 38 out of 85. Um, he flicks something towards you in the air, and you see it. You have got very quick reflexes. You're a very... A very fast boy. And... What you pick out of the air, old, is a small quartz orb. You boys, uh, you're not good with the medicine, are you? Because this was in the back of his neck, the boy. It was in the back of his neck, under that tattoo thing. You gotta look real careful, like, but it was there. And, uh, once we got rid of it, he's like a normal boy. He's got weird crisscrosses and weird tattoos, but he's alright. He can't do the magics. He can't do the uh, the healing mumbo jumbos. You yeah, boys, I know. I mean, I thought I was gonna assign maybe a paramedic, uh, maybe someone who had. Uh, uh, I mean, I should have maybe sent the vet, maybe a uh, even a, a very enthusiastic quilter who could sew <laughs> people up. But uh, no, no, you boys didn't look careful enough. No, he's got that quartz thing. Right in the back of his neck, that was the source of his powers. You missed that Is right. he still bleeding white blood? I mean, he hasn't yet. We haven't done... What do you want me to do? Burn him? No, uh, no, it was, make no, him it was... Hot? <laughs> no, I mean, make him hot? No, I was gonna do it. No. Nope. Make just maybe even <laughs> no, ask, don't. you know, for, you know, a blood sample or something. Well, I mean, we we cut him after because he said he'd be fine. No, he was uh, he did not heal up the way he did previously. Oh, so, that no, is he, splendid yeah, every, news. Everything gone from him, so we can. I mean, you boys can do whatever you like with this boy. Well, no, I don't give you the authority. I think we either send him back home or we just give him a new life. We I want to say him give training. him a new life. I don't think we new can boy. send him back to the parents because did you, did you say did you said make him a trainee. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, he's he's been in through quite a lot. You want him to go back to? You want him to go play football with those big boys who've been, you know, alive since 1999, not 1970. We can do that. I think but, that um, we should. Uh, I think that bringing him up within Delta Green, he has seen too much. He has. We can make him. I mean, we can. He can deliver sodas, or maybe a nice uh, 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 a newspaper now and then to the rooms. And when he gets old enough, we'll train him in the. Uh, the art of gunplay, maybe some uh, uh, newspapers, whatever he's best at. Do, you th yeah, do we think that this? Good idea. Do we think I this like that one. Is, 
Do you think this orb is what kept him young? Well, I know, I no, I got no fucking idea about that. It's just, I know that is what kept him uh, with, with the powers. I, uh, the youngness, I got no fucking idea. That's a good theory, though. Uh, yeah, well, you... I mean, we'll find out in a year, yeah? And celebrate happy birthday. We'll see if he looks older, yeah? I mean, do you know the difference between an eight-year-old and a nine-year-old? Because if you do, my man, that's all on you. That's oh my good. god, what if he aged all of it really yeah. quick? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yeah. I don't, like I don't feel so good, Mr. Spanx. It's not bad. Like, it, it's just like Rob, Robin Williams in that one movie. You know, oh, God. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just um, acting his shit. That handler, uh, how, how, what was the situation in Yosemite? Like, did you oh, hear the we, news? Oh, we quarantined it. I mean, this is day one. The quarantine is up. The, the Pumas are in heat, for sure. And it's dangerous. I mean, people aren't going by, as far as we've seen. I mean, I think we wait, a, I mean, a week. Oh, no, I mean, like, what's going on right now? Around or, like, all up ends? All up ends. Like, are, are the rangers been, okay? There was a lot of... Oh, no, no. Oh. There was a lot of blood in that station. There was a couple uh, of backpackers that seemed to be uh, just chock full of blood and missing organs. But, um, uh, that they're gone now. We can't do nothing about it. That sucks. Uh, I, like, feel really bad about that. <laughs> You're all sanity check if you want. Sure. Your sanity's fine for that one. Yeah, just sad. <clears throat> it is an unfortunate event. Now, are the yes. boys going to study this quartz crystal, perhaps to learn how to harness some of its abilities? I mean, we can try. I mean, that's that's the R and D uh, uh, RCA team, LMB, Radio Shack we Geek can, Squad. Uh, <laughs> we, can, we can give it a shot if 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 you think that's best. We can uh, we can take a little look at Daisy. Well, perhaps this could provide us with some kind of advantage as we fight these unnatural creatures in the future. I mean, I think so. Well, you know what? I I think a roll persuasion check. You know. You know what? I think I think uh, Southern boy. I think if we uh, you give that back to me, I can I can work out with the boys with the the guns and the uh, R and D uh, and uh, BCA. It, uh, and LOL. We'll we'll, we'll take a take a quick look and maybe we can help that out for you if you give it back to me. Yeah. Here you go. All right. Um, you know, I, I boys, I you want to hop in on in there in a week? I so far. Other than the corpse is already there, ain't been nothing. So, you want to do the old uh, uh, Delta Green clean away? We can do that in a week, but it's uh, up to you. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think we need to make sure they're they're vulnerable, yeah. Because if they just pass right through the fire, there's not no one we can do. Yeah, I'll, I'll say make make them sweat it out another day. Yeah, keep an eye on it. One more day, absolutely. All right, you guys take another day. When do we have a yeah. moment? I I, I want to go to Miniman Spanx's bunk. Okay. So it's like booze and sex. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Gordon, I believe yeah. you should probably open a, a window and let this room air <laughs> out just a little bit. There are no windows in Delta Green. No. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps get one of those little air fresheners, the one that looks like a cone. You open it up, it's got the blue gel inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, what you want, yeah? I just wanted to just want to have a brief conversation with you about um, what happened out there. So, you seem to be a man who is quite proficient in self-defense. You have a proficiency with the blade. I just wanted to talk about when that hiker with a pocket knife moved upon you. A trained Delta Green agent with two agents as backup. Was that nerves? You could have ended that situation in almost any other way. Did you panic? panic? No, I won't say I panicked. Say I took care of the... I neutralized the threat. The threat being that hiker who was... I mean, there was, there was that and watch, watching watching your, your ass talking to a tall boy over there. Hmm. <laughs> Hashtag tall boy. Hashtag <laughs> Hashtag I'll, I'll, lean in, I'll lean in a little bit and I'll say, you can tell by the way that I've handled myself that I'm not above getting my hands dirty to get the job done. I just want to make sure that you don't enjoy yourself too much when you're out there. Well, what will make you feel like I was enjoying myself? You did not hesitate, son. 
Never do. Just keep that energy pointed in the right direction. Oh, don't worry. I'll always be behind you. I'm sure. And I'll leave. Okay. Uh, a couple... Let's say it's a couple days past. Um, let's say you guys are now reconvened in the cafeteria about four days after. <laughs> and um, you guys are just kind of hanging out, and your trays are brought to you by Marshmallow. Oh, Marshmallow! How you doing, <laughs> buddy? I'm good. I, I, I think I'm better than I was. They get you a PlayStation? Uh, I got I got a Dreamcast. <laughs> they, I, there's this game called that's, Power that's Stone. Best really into. Oh, like, Power Stone's yeah, a great game. Yeah. <clears throat> I actually had people to play with, but it, like it's really fun. I'm I'm the guy with like the jacket and the red jacket and the blonde hair. It's he's real fun. Dude, come to my bunk sometime and like tell me to come play Dreamcast with you. I I I'd yeah. eat that up, man. Okay, man. That sounds great. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. A high five, Marshmallow. And Marshmallow high fives you back. And yeah, he, uh, they, 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 put you, oh, so they put you through school. They, they teach you anything. Or... Plus, only a couple days. I'm, I'm starting in the cafeteria, and they're, they're teaching me a little bit about... Uh, uh, I mean, I know how to read, but, like, math and, like, uh, the history of Delta Green and stuff. Uh, yeah. And any self-defense yet? Um, I think I'm starting that next week. They, they said I do a little bit of, um, of, of boxing first. Great. You need a spawn partner. You're real big. <laughs> yeah. You know, it doesn't matter. No. The, the size of your opponent. So, uh, you, you think, you think little, little guys little than you are going to come beat you up? Nope. He's big. Okay, well, you know, I'll play some Dreamcast. I'll do some fighting. Uh, Mr. Mr. Pendergast, anything you want to do with me? <clears throat> well, son, you uh, you find yourself in, a, in an interesting situation. My only advice to you, uh, as someone who has had a peculiar childhood, would be uh, make the best of it. You have a good head upon your shoulders. You handle that situation quite well. I think that if you uh, set your mind to learn, you could do quite well within this organization. I hope so. Thank you. And, and I will... Trays? You what? I said I will check up on you and every time I return, since this is our home base. Okay, I look forward to it. He leaves your trays. Um, you walk back into the briefing room after a while. See the handler. Well, boys, uh, it's about that time. It's uh, a fire brimstone. We're gonna blow the place up. Delta is there about the protocol level one? How's the activity been on the mountain range? Like, uh... well, no. After the, after the many many deaths of the uh, the park rangers and, and backpackers, no, nothing. The many many deaths. I love Has it. there been uh, any uh, Delta Green like agents that have come up against any Moon Children? No, oh, no, fuck no. We didn't send them in. No, that seemed very conservative. So we just we quarantined the whole thing. Yeah. Um, well, they quarantined no, it, but did anything attack any of the fences or anything? No, no, we, uh, after we sent out the, uh, the whole Puma alert and, uh, kept everyone at a distance, no, actually nothing. That's Whole, caught. whole, whole ranger station, though, a lot of blood. But no, after we fought. Mm. Okay, you know well, what yeah, I, mean? yeah, uh, I think it's time, yeah? No it's witnesses. Alright, I mean, you, I mean, it's, I know, listen, listen, squad drumstick, I know it's your first time, uh, first mission. You want to be on the copter? Oh, you want to just watch? We got a screen. It's up to you, boys. I'm a man that is not afraid to get his hands dirty. I want to be well, there to see the deep down. All right, I appreciate. Okay. I appreciate I'll be there your, too. Uh, in depth effort. All right, let's uh, let's let's get let's get get this bird up in the air. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a, a high-powered rifle, just in case it is needed? I am quite proficient. Oh, I don't even think that'll be an issue. But here you go. He uh, walks up to the squat, uh, the cage. He he talks to Granny. And as, as she does, you see Granny, G3. Where's my juice, boys? Oh, I knew it! I was thinking about it. Granny, <laughs> promise me <laughs> juice. Yep, yeah, Granny, Granny, the mission's not over yet. Don't worry, I know the right place to get you the good stuff. You so better, right boy. The mission's over. I'll never forget you, sweetie. Next time I'll get you a slingshot and a wooden stick. Oh, don't <laughs> worry. I need my juice. I know, I know, girl. I know. <laughs> I promise, Ali. I'll, I'll get. I'll get the right combination. You'll have the best juice. You better. Jesus better. juice. And she. Uh, yeah, I saw it in my notes. 
she pushes over a large, large rifle. Uh, uh, Ezekiel. Sniper Thank rifle. You. you guys are now up in the helicopter. It's yeah, you, no. yeah. And the person uh, flying it is the handler. It's just the handler and you three. There. Alright. <laughs> I'm just quiet the entire time because I just feel so regretful that we're going to set this forest on fire and that all those rangers got killed. Just kick back in the helicopter like... I just have the, have the rifle at the ready. Yep, yep. We're about there. Would uh, anyone want to uh, pull the trigger on this uh, this thing right here? Or you want me to do it? I can do it. Uh, I won't. Yes. <laughs> you. <laughs> All right, go on, my boy. You can uh, pull that trigger. It's right here. It's in the passenger seat. You just give it a little tug, tug. Are we uh, circling over where yeah. we where Brandon told us the you, cave was? Yeah, you, no, you're right now. Right now, you're a little bit past the ranger ranger station. Okay, I'm gonna use my binoculars to just kind of look around and see if I see any movement. There. Roll an alertness check or forty, which doesn't do it. You don't see much, unfortunately. It's you very don't see shaky movement, really. on the helicopter. You, what you think you see is the tail of one puma. <gasps> really, we're pumas. <laughs> Uh, all right, boys. Anything else you want to do? We gonna we gonna light this candle. Light uh, it up. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, my man, Delta Green. Here we go. Here's a hand to you, Gordon. <laughs> light it up, and I go. Woo! Hit the button. Okay. Um, you 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 hit a button. Uh, you just hear. And just like several just things fall out of the bottom of this helicopter and just this forest and ranger station just light up of the blades. Just white hot fire burning it up. And it quickly spreads through the whole forest. Do we see anything coming out my uh, check and see you? I want you to roll an alertness check. What you hear, you know, is you don't see anything, but you think you maybe hear a scream. That's it. Did it sound human? It sounded very similar to someone you talked to previously. And who would that be? That would be Karata. Oh, the monster. Yeah. I believe, uh... I believe I've heard them maybe breathe the last. Well, that's oh. what we do here at Delta Green. We burn shit! I mean, I, I mean, lucky, lucky stride. You guys killed what we were supposed yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, that that sounds like a mission, mission successful. And uh, you know, but I, I don't feel quite right burning this whole force. I should make some sort of effort to put it out. And I just unzip my fly and I take a leak out the side of the <laughs> Excellent. helicopter. Thank God we burned down a national park, world renowned, and now we're pissing all over. I had, to, I had, to, do, I had to do something drunk, right? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're a little drunk. I lean over to Ezekiel. I think that's an ocean Roll violation. <laughs> if he falls out of the helicopter, yeah. <laughs> I think so too. But luckily, we're not going to be eating the flames. So. Yeah. And you guys make it out just Wonderful. fine. Um, and you guys eventually head your way back to the base of Delta Green. All right, you guys are back in the um the briefing room. He says, "All right, boys, you did a." Uh, you did a fine job for your first mission. You, uh, I mean, there was a lot of fire and, and some Puma talk, but, uh, uh, all things aside, we got a trainee. We got, uh, uh, only a couple, uh, Forest Rangers dead, and that's, a uh, it's mighty fine compared to, you know, blowing out of town. Or, like, you know, we've had some worse times. There was a time we had to, we had to destroy, well, we don't even talk about it, but, like, you know, the whole boat. <laughs> I mean, well, you all saw the Titanic. James Cameron was lying <laughs> a little bit when he made that movie. There, there ain't no Rose. There ain't no Leo DiCaprio. It was a squid monster, and I'll be damned. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to talk about it right now. Um, listen, I appreciate what you're doing here. Um, you got a, you got a little time on your own. Do what you want. Uh, uh, dismissed except for a uh, uh, Zeke boy here. Oh, oh yes. I slink off to my room. I don't even say anything because I'm just kind of sad about the entire situation because I felt really yep. bad about those rangers dying and, and stuff. Not me. Back to the bar. Try to score again. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Ziki, here we. I got something for you. Oh, yes. Uh, he hands you a scope. 
Listen, this is what we, uh, we the boys came up with down in the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh BET LCD, uh, was a, uh, a scope that lets you, uh, using that, that quartz crystal they found, lets you control the bullet a little bit. Hmm, indeed. You, you miss, I mean, it's only gonna work for something far away, you miss once, you get one more chance, my boy. Well, I'm as happy as a dead pig in sunshine. Thank you very much. You can go attach anything you want, but I mean, I, I wouldn't switch around too much. It's, it might lose its... Uh, the qualities the boys made, but uh, I would attach it once. Hmm. I will have to find a weapon that I am enamored with and would like to use for the long term. Absolutely. So, um... Uh, I, I begin working on my, uh, personal game that I've been working on in my spare time. It's kind of like my passion okay. project that I've been doing. Um, I have, uh, little chat windows up that I can talk with my friends with while I do it. Um, but I, I kind of pivot the design of my, my personal project. It used to be just like a, uh, just another, like, indie platformer game that, like, I thought was just cool and rad and edgy, but, like, it didn't mean anything to me anymore. Yeah. Um, but now after having this experience... Uh, but also having, like, uh, a little bit of a relationship with Brandon, because, uh, he plays games with me and stuff on the field, I decided to, I want to make a game that Brandon would, uh, like, really enjoy, but that would also kind of speak to me on a personal level for, like, um, the things that I, I've just done and witnessed and everything like that, like, uh, the, oh, it's almost like a coping yeah. mechanism for me to get okay. over it. Um, so I make like Here's... this kind of fun game that's like got, if you look deeper into it, it's got like depth to it. Uh, and okay. stuff. So you missed the call from your dad while you did this, but you, yeah. um, <clears throat> you gained a sanity back from this. Nice. Gordon's gonna, a few things. So he's, he's gonna run out and get granny her juice. Okay. Right. And, yeah. he's, and he's gonna buy several different kinds and using his, his skills as a chef and flavor combinations, he's gonna make some very unique like apple pie with like apple Ooh. and cinnamon and like banana split with like banana and like chocolate whatever i don't, I don't okay. know i want you to roll a uh, <laughs> whatever you're like cooking i mean you have some sort of cooking skill i'm sure whatever way you determined um yeah you make a delicious I'm, I'm gonna say with that you make a very very delicious uh uh vape juice ba and very she cobbler it. she uh she she blows fat fat cotton at you big old clouds of white yeah, you did. Yeah, you did great, honey. It's 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 much more flavorful than the last. I did a a a, a, a blueberry. It was nothing like this. You now have a new bro uh, a bond with Granny. Add to your granny bond. bond yeah. You have a bond with Granny, but however, you lose one point with another bond you previously had. Yeah, a lot of them don't matter anymore. So, so you lose one bond with someone else you previously had. My landlord, because I don't live there anymore. It doesn't matter. Sure. <laughs> and you guys can't. You're always welcome to leave. You don't have to live here. But um, let's go. Last person. Let's go to Zeke. <clears throat> well, I think that I will attempt to, uh, in my spare time, uh, give a little marshmallow some some training, maybe in uh, my own personal uh, passion projects of archaeology, or maybe even more into criminology. Okay. I'm going to say... become a better agent. You're you're dealing with Brandon. You're talking about... Arch you're kind of working him through it, right? Oh, yes. You don't... You, you have to reduce one of your bonds by one that isn't anyone. I mean, that isn't Brandon. Brandon, you don't make a bond with him, but you reduce a bond that you had. Okay. I will lower my bond with... Uh, let's say Mr. William Smith back. He, you know, after you, you talked with him for a long while, and you guys have become very close, and he kind of whispers into you, you know, Mr. Mr. Zeke? Yes, Brandon. I think I might have an idea how to make, how, how they became intangible. Do tell. I will. And that's where I'll end tonight. Hmm. Hey! Interesting. <laughs> Is that we the end it. of Operation Fulminate? That was the oper end of Operation Fulminate. Oh, nice. We all survived. And yeah. That not, took a, a different turn. You know, <laughs> After like, everyone decided not to do a full-on assault, things went better. Well, yeah. I mean, like, it was like we had no idea what to do. The idea was such a team effort. It was like, 
everybody contributed something. Yeah, it was very good. Yeah. To that to that final plan. Oh, I love this game. Thank you for joining us. Excellent. Until next time. Today's cool. episode brought to you by Schmuckies. Schmuckies. What's that on your shirt? Schmuckies. <laughs> oh, it's Schmuckies. Schmuckies. <laughs> we, all, we eat semen for sustenance. Schmuckies. <laughs> brought to you by Grimace. The Dark Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Visit right, Yosemite you Park for, for your own custom schmuckies. Schmuckies, it's uh, brimming with riboflavin. Schmuckies. <laughs> riboflavin. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We are the Mythos Mr. Society, and there is no case too strange.